My name is Isaiah Fisher. My mom, Tanya Liliano, and my dad, uh, Jermaine Fisher, and I are in a business with Total Life Changes. Our goal is to help people get healthy. Our most famous product is the ISO C. Today, my mom and I are going to show you how to make it. But first, my mom has to make a disclaimer. Hi everyone, as Isaiah mentioned, my name is Tanya Fogliano and we are independent business owners with Total Life Changes. I have to make a disclaimer because the information and instructions we are going to give today are different than what you will find on the back of the tea. The reason for this is I've been on IASO tea for over a year now and I like to change up the flavor a bit. As you can see, I don't need the tea to lose weight, however it does help me maintain my healthy weight and it helps to keep away migraines for me insomnia, body aches, and allergy symptoms. That being said, another disclaimer is we are making no medical claims. And although the tea does help with weight loss, there are 25 other health benefits. So if you're not seeing the benefits of weight loss, pay attention to the other benefits you may be noticing. First, you need to start by adding a half gallon of water to a, pot, a large pot. Then turn the stove on high for the water to boil. While it is boiling, we are going to share some additional information with you. For those of you who like your tea sweet, you can add honey or stevia, but don't add too much because you don't want it to be too sweet. Just add a little bit at a time. You don't want to add sugar or any artificial sweetener because it'll ruin the effectiveness of the tea. You can also add, add fruit, such as berries, sliced lemons, etc. My favorite ingredients to add are mint leaves. As you can see, I grow my own mint. Also, cinnamon sticks and ginger. If you use a ginger, make sure that you peel the skin off first. And whatever ingredients you use, make sure it's all natural or or organic and that it's cleaned thoroughly because you will need them to sit in your tea for the entire week along with those two tea bags. After you are finished with the ISO tea, you get to dry them out for uh, the tea bag and dry out the tea bags and use them as seasonings on all of your food. It doesn't add any flavor but it gives you the same benefits as it does in the tea. And the way to Dry out the tea bags is at the end of the week, you'll take them out of the container and then you'll just wring them out over the sink to get the excess tea out and set them on just a paper towel and set them over a strainer or something of that nature so they can dry. And after a couple of days, you can just actually put them in a recycled seasoning container or you can actually purchase one similar to these at the Dollar Tree. The great thing about using the tea as seasonings on your meals, you can put them on all types of food, eggs, pastas, steaks, whatever, because it really doesn't give you a flavor. However, it will still give the benefits of the detox. So it's wonderful for children such as Isaiah who really don't like the taste of tea um, to give them those benefits as well as adults who really don't drink the tea. Thankfully, every now and then he will try to uh, make himself drink the tea. Um, let me take that off. Now I'm going to take off the water. Uh, take the water off the burner. And my mom is going to tell you more about the tea. All right. So, um, as you can see, I've opened the tea, and there are two tea bags, and it's very important to use both because one of the bags contains four herbs, and the other contains five, and together they work synergistically to provide the detox and cleansing needed for all systems of the body. The herbs um, that are contained in these packets are holy thistle, blessed thistle, papaya, ginger, marshmallow, persimmon leaves, chamomile, mava leaves, and myrrh. Now I'm adding the two tea bags to the water. And now I will cover it so it can see. For eight hours. Bedtime is the best time to make your tea. So when you get up in the morning, you could take it and put it in the container. And at the end of those eight hours, 
you're going to add it in to a container as Isaiah mentioned. I recommend a glass container such as this because the plastic containers can allow toxins to seep into your tea and we want to avoid all toxins. Um, and you want to put the extra half a gallon of water into that which will combine give you a total of it an entire gallon which will last for the full week and you'll want to include the tea bags in there as well as any added ingredients and the directions on how to take the tea is you'll take two eight ounce glasses each day one with each meal um, I recommend your lunch and your dinner and if you have a snack you can add an additional four ounces throughout the day with your snack um, if for some reason you can't get it into one of those periods you can always exchange that for breakfast um, we will also be creating a troubleshooting video, so stay tuned for that. Um, please find us on social media, and Isaiah will explain how else you can reach out to us. Please contact me, Isaiah Fisher, at 309-750-5117 or my mom at 980-335-6242. Thanks. Have a good day.